a 4.5 inch display. The display I do not believe is HD, but has um, 200 something pixels per inch or something. Um, it also has a side on and off button, then a uh, volume rocker is right there, then the home button, and the soft keys which do not light up at all, which is extremely disappointing. And then we have down here the charging slot, and then the speakers right next to the track phone logo. And the back also has this kind of shiny look to it when you turn the phone. It's interesting. And it's battery. Um, she was better in just a second. It's quite good with battery life. It has impressive battery life. So it has a um, 2,100 milliamps battery with um, a very good battery life. Just to show you like the size comparison to my finger. And then here is the SD card slot. It also has camera flash. Not many track phones have camera flash. Um, very nice, solid, solid. It's, it's it's a solid quality phone here. It, it's very high quality for a track phone. And this little blinky thing that you're seeing, it doesn't really blink, but on my camera it blinks for some reason. In real life it doesn't do that. I don't know why, but it just shows up on my camera. So then, also let's kind of get into the software here. It has a very nice display. Um, everything's quite nice. Then um, it comes with a small variety of desktop backgrounds with no live wallpapers. At least it's not enabled or something. But and a few things are limited to this phone. Um, you don't get much selection for the lock screen. Like there's not many things in the lock screen here what it shows uh well display i mean the display it, it gives many effects on the display well like three of them but there should be more effects on the display than there is right now um the brightness it's not very bright when you're outside but it is bright um when you are not when you are inside so then we will see, I'll just show you a little bit in a second. So now let's move on to the software. Um, the software is a very good quality software. It's, an, it's a nice phone when you root it. The, um, this bar is not normally that color. It's a slightly different color, but in this video I, I haven't rooted so it, it blends in with some apps. It doesn't work, but I do recommend installing it. Some games aren't compatible with this. For example, Asphalt 8 is not compatible with this phone, but with a few um, tweaks to the, the system, you, you can get it to work. Um, this is not the, the, the home screen. I just downloaded that and applied a theme. Here we have the... This, this is the, the normal one that you get. Um, Normal home screen is a slightly slower than the uh, one that I have installed. I have installed a Nova Launcher with the LG G3 theme applied. Um, then the settings app. We'll just move on to there. Oh, I don't want to open that. No. <laughs> the settings app. It doesn't have as many settings as some of the other phones. But as you can see here... These aren't the, the coolest looking buttons I've ever seen. Those don't look very good, though. Then, um, you have a few options for display, what it looks like when you turn the phone off and stuff like that. So we have a few options for, um, I guess we have that. And then, hold on a second. Um, a lock screen is also good. Um, you have a few options to um, for that. Um, the keyboard looks kind of toyish. 
But, um, that's good. You get, like, the knock over where you go, like, boom, boom, boom. Like, while the screen's off. So, you would just be like... And then it wouldn't unlock. Um, but you do have the double tap, the, st the status bar to turn it off, and the double tap to wake. It's like the... Basically, every single feature that you have on the LG G2, you have on this phone. It's basically the same software with a few changes. Doesn't give you a few options like I wish you would have. Um, never mind. So you have a few options um, when you're looking uh, when when you're going through the home screen, like a few swipe options. What it looks like when you slide the thing. Um, wallpaper. I do have to say, there's not. I just installed a few other wallpapers. That's a pretty ugly thing. This is the default wallpaper on the G3. You don't get very many wallpapers, though. I do have to say that's kind of sad. Um, but then... Yeah, so we'll just move on to the notifications here. Uh, I just changed it so it says Verizon Wireless. But then you have a few options, like Q-Slide is a feature that I've never used, but it's kind of cool. You can have two windows open at once. So I can have the memo pad open on and the calculator open at the same time. That is one software feature that I find would be kind of good. Um, then if you tap and hold on this, you get your recent apps but, uh, button. Clear all, clear all the apps that you have. Uh, just swiping them off like you would do Every single other ROM is kind of standard there. But you can select the home screen in settings. So this is the home screen I have. I like it because it just looks cool. I have effects when you open and close this stuff. This looks like the LG G3. Um, the apps have good features, but the alarm clock, it doesn't look so good. This... This looks kind of toyish. Doesn't look very good. Um, this also looks toyish. It's kind of like a mixture between good and bad. Um, the keyboard wasn't very good, so I installed a new one. The G3 keyboard. A lot of this stuff has has good features, but it just needs a, a new look. Like phone dial, for example. It just looks so bad. But I don't have a f new phone dial installed, which I don't know why. And I, that's also a Q slide app can change the visibility of it and stuff like that. But, yeah. I, this software has some extremely good features. You hold down on the home button, then you get the Google um, app opens. I have it set so it does that. Um, once you root it, it's quite nice. I can tweak a whole lot of software stuff in here. Like, the exposed frameworks works. Um... There is no clockwork mod um, recovery, so you, you cannot flash ROMs because there are none. There is no recovery for this phone. Um, there is no support for this phone, but usually you can fix it by resetting the phone. So, yeah, and the screen is very bright, too. Um, there is no, like, beam. Like, where you go, like, zing, goes like that. I haven't, it's not available. Um... I think it's track phone limited features you get with it. Like, I think they limited some stuff so that you, you don't get a certain amount of features. But you do get um, screen off effects. Those are cool. Um, this is your default, the retro TV. Um, then fade out. Yeah, it's just a fade. Not very exciting. But that's, like, simple, so that's what people might like. I use this one because it looks cool. I wish there were more of those. Um, then, the sound quality is... It's good, but... People say it's quiet. They're right. It is quiet. I wish it had a few more ringtones. Not all of these are ringtones that you would use, like, on a daily basis, but... The gallery app is good. It takes good photos. So, for example, 
scroll down and find a photo. Um, yeah, so this is one of the good photos that it took. So I will rotate the screen. Auto rotate, I turn it off because it's so sensitive. Wait, no, I have not. Oh, good. Picture quality is absolutely amazing for this one. This is a track from with the best picture quality ever. Very clean, very crisp. If we zoom in, it's still not pixelated. It's very nice quality. Takes good pictures with that 5 megapixel camera. Um, another software feature I like is I can swipe up to delete, swipe down to share. If I to share it on the gram, it's Insta. I could do that. Then, um, it, it just seems to work nicely. It, it can't record or play 1080p HD video, um, or even 720p HD. Um, the YouTube app doesn't allow it to do that. So, for example, yeah, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, it doesn't give you a whole lot of options for quality, so... I'll just show you. The sound quality is good, though. We'll say that. So here, if we look, I don't get any very, very many options here. This isn't all the way up, but it's close. Yeah, it's, it's very crisp. Um, yeah, I made a review for this, but I should probably post it on YouTube. It's it's a good solid phone. It is probably the best track phone that you will buy on track phone. Um, if you're updating from the Samsung Galaxy Sentra to this, you're going to find it's really awesome. This is probably the best track phone. You won't find it um, on the track phone website anymore, so you have to buy it. There is another phone. Um, just go on the LG website. And select track phone for an option. You'll see another one that's about the same as this, but has a 0 0.3 megapixel camera, front facing camera, but it can record and play HD video. But it looks a bit different. This is probably the best looking track phone there is. Um, it's definitely the highest quality track phone they have made. Um, bigger does not always mean better. And so the 5 inch one, the 5 inch track phone, isn't very good. Well, thank you for watching this video, and, um, yeah, I'll try to make a ROM for it. There is a working route. I'll post the link down there, and, um, yeah, thank you for watching this. Very glad you selected this one. Um, bye!